This is my dad, Mark Christiansen. At the tender age of 16 years, he was playing catch at Pine View Reservoir near Ogden, Utah. He dove for a ball in shallow water, hit the bottom head first, and broke cervical vertebrae three, four, and five. His spinal cord was torn, and his arms and legs were instantly paralyzed. Doctors expected him to die quickly. He surprised them and lived. Doctors then told him he would probably live for nine or ten years, then die from complications. That was the life expectancy for a quadriplegic in 1961. He beat the odds again, and is now in his 52nd year, living as a spinal cord injury quadriplegic. He hasn't been able to walk, feed himself, or wipe his own nose for over 50 years. I started thinking about how rare he must be, so I decided to do some research. I was shocked when I found evidence of only 10 other people in history who have survived as a quadriplegic as long as my dad. Assuming 100 billion people over 400,000 years, that's an average of 1 in 10 billion, or one person every 40,000 years. Neil Armstrong is one of 12 people to walk on the moon. My dad is one of 10 people to live over 50 years as a quadriplegic. Barack Obama is one of 43 presidents. Conrad Ross Kelly is one of 10 50-year quads. Michael Jordan is one of 2,000 to win an NBA title. Lonnie DeVille is one of 10 50-year quads. Michael Phelps is one of 6,000 to win Olympic gold. Steve Young is one of 7,000 to win a Super Bowl. Babe Ruth is one of 8,000 to win a World Series. Janet Barnes is one of 10 50-year quads. Bill from Caricure is one of 10. Teddy Porter is one of 10. Scribbler is one of 10. Rosemary Levin is one of 10. SCI for 55 is one of 10. Wally Dutcher is one of 10. Living over 50 years as a quadriplegic is more rare than winning a world sports title, becoming president, or walking on the moon. I believe it is also more difficult and more heroic. If you believe these amazing people deserve some recognition, please share the unknown story of the 50-year quads.